Hey guys, I am Mary Steele and today I am going to show you some of my favorite beauty hacks I do that requires no makeup. Makeup is fun and all, but just some days you don't want to wear it, but you still want to look good, fresh, naturally beautiful, if you will. So these are some of my favorite hacks that I do when I want to look naturally beautiful without makeup. My first tip is to fake tan. There's so many ways to achieve this now. There's lotions, mousses, sprays. There's so many new body glow products now, especially with it being summer. A lot of companies are launching their summer collections which have body glow products in them. So there's the obvious use of using a fake tan to put it all over your body. But one trick I love to do with a tanning mousse is to put it strategically on certain parts of your body. I put the tanning mousse on certain areas of my face where I would naturally be bronzed or where I would apply my contouring shades. On my forehead, underneath, and on my cheekbones, a little bit on my nose. I like to emphasize my collarbones as well. The key to this though is to make sure you blend, blend, blend the tanning mousse. You can use a beauty sponge. Since it is a mousse though, the sponge tends to soak up a lot of that mousse, so I end up using a kabuki brush. I do have freckles naturally, but I just want to enhance some of those freckles. I went ahead and took a q-tip, got some of the mousse on there, and applied fake freckles strategically on my face. I honestly just went to bed and slept with this on my face, and I woke up the next morning, washed my face, and now I have a naturally bronzed, glowy look. Next trick, this is one of my favorite tricks to do because it is so easy, it takes five minutes of my day. I do tint my eyebrows. I don't like doing my eyebrows. It is my least part of my makeup routine. Doing this makes it so much more easy. Most of the times I don't touch my brows. If I do want to apply some amount of brow product, I just usually run a brow gel through my brows. This next tip is pretty obvious, but I need to say it. Skincare. I don't care how good you are at makeup, your makeup is not going to look as flawless as it could be if you had good skincare. Your makeup application and the finished look is gonna look a hundred times better. I do suffer, suffer? I feel like that's kind of dramatic. I do have acne, I get acne pimple spots as you can see. The one product that truly makes such a difference for my skin and to reduce my acne and acne scarring and spots, I use tea tree oil. Every night before I go to bed, I apply my moisturizer and then I just take the dropper here and I just drop a few drops in this area from here down because that's where most of my spots are. In the morning you could barely notice the spots. The redness and inflammation has gone down dramatically. Using this has reduced the amount of acne I have. Tea tree oil is a natural antibacterial. It reduces inflammation and redness. It really does help heal the skin. I have a little DIY for you guys. These are my DIY eye masks. These are super simple but they make such a difference. Around my eyes are really dry. These eye masks just help a ton with putting back moisture in these areas. All it is is aloe vera. I don't know about you guys, but when I first meet someone, one of the first things I look at is their teeth. I think teeth says a lot about a person. If they take hygiene seriously, self-care seriously, a super easy tip I have for you is to whiten your teeth regularly. I whiten my teeth honestly just once every two weeks, once a month. I just regularly keep up with it so I have a nice fresh white smile at all times. Self-care. This is a pretty broad category just because there's so much that goes into the topic of self-care. Self-care goes a lot towards your natural beauty if you're eating healthy, exercising, washing your hair, washing your face. When I do these things, I instantly just feel more healthier, I feel more confident, and people can see when you radiate with confidence. People can see that you're just confident and happy with yourself, and that is honestly one of the most beautiful things you can see. Along with self-care, what actually gives me the softest skin is not lotion. I mean, lotion helps for the time being, but what actually gives me my long-term soft baby skin is taking baths with Epsom salts. One, it's just relaxing, but afterwards when I dry off, I don't have to apply lotion. My skin is just already so soft. The next tip I have is to do your hair the night before. If I can style my hair without heat, I'm going to do that. And it reduces so much time of me getting ready in the mornings. I can just 
take out my hair, shake it out, and my hair is already done. Along with looking at teeth, you notice people's lips. No one likes to see crusty, chapped lips. I would definitely recommend a lip scrub. One that I love and I use often is by Milani. It's called Keep It Sweet Sugar Lip Scrub. Lip scrubs are actually super easy to make as well. All you need is ungranulated sugar, some coconut oil, and maybe just a few drops of your favorite essential oil. And there you go, you have a DIY lip scrub. Lip scrubs not only take off all that dead, crusty skin, but it also brings back circulation to your lips, which makes them look more plump, and it brings natural color back to your lips. The last, I guess, kind of tip I have for you is to do some cosmetic procedures. If you want more of a long-lasting stain on your eyebrows, you can do microblading. If you want longer eyelashes but don't want to apply falsies, you can do eyelash extensions. These do cost more money, of course, and you do have to keep up with it still. I personally do not do those procedures, but I know several people who do and love it. I'm just cheap and rather do it myself. So those are some beauty hacks that I personally do when I want to look naturally beautiful. I do not have any makeup on right now, so you can see all my imperfections, so my acne spots. But you know what? I feel like imperfections are in themselves beautiful. They make you who you are, as corny as that sounds. A lot of the times, especially during summer months, I'd rather have light coverage skin where some of my imperfections can show through. I'd rather have that than a full beat flawless face every single day. If you guys do try any of these hacks, let me know. Some of them really have changed the game for me. They just make getting ready so much more easy. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in my next video. Peace out.